Hey guys, Milrick77 here. That guy picked up his parts a couple hours ago. He was so happy. He walked up, you know, he's looking. He looked at his parts. I had him out here in the driveway. He's looking at his parts. He's like, his eyes lit up. He's like, you did a pretty damn good job for what you had to work with. I'm like, that's how I do them, buddy. I said, I don't do them unless I like to do, unless I'm doing it right, you know. He was happy as fuck. He couldn't rip his wallet out of his back pocket fast enough to hand me my money he gave me a, a full box and uh, two more bullets and a half so two boxes and eight shells one bo one full box and eight shells and uh, he gave me the rest of the money he owed me and he handed me the gun and uh, he was happy as fucking I don't know he was just happier than hell so uh, that's good that makes me happy uh, I'm out here right now, uh, I have my gun out here that I just got, and uh, I got her disassembled <laughs> already. Um, there's the barrel and the scope, came with a bushnell on it. Uh, those are the three screws that held the stock in, in order. And that one goes here, that one goes here, and then that little one goes here behind the trigger guard. Um, just the olive green synthetic stock, super, super, super light. Um, yep, and it has a, uh, a Allen, uh, yeah, sling on it. There's the, uh, the magazine for it. Here's the bolt, and, uh, I'm taking her apart to clean it, because I don't know if you guys can see down in there, but, uh, she's pretty, uh, gnarly. She's dirty down inside the stock. All inside of, uh... Focus, you motherfucker. All inside of here. It's all grimy. Camera sucks, balls. And James Freddy has the same camera, and I don't think he has any problems with this. I think it's just me. But, uh... Anyway, she's all fucking filthy. So... I got my rim oil, <clears throat> my rim oil, I got some shitty oil, some rods, got my little Walmart gun cleaning set over here, and uh, got my toothbrushes, so I'm going to clean this bad boy up, lube her all up before I take any shots with it, because uh, I just want to make sure she's all good and clean, so that's what I'm up to, uh, let me clean this bad boy and I'll show her to you all together. So anyway, hey guys, Miller X77 here. I'm uh, I got this gun all cleaned out. Took the bolt out, took the bolt apart, and uh, I cleaned it out, lubed her up, got her all good. Used my uh, toothbrushes and uh, you know the cotton swab. See how dirty that fucker is. Brass rods. Used cleaning patches with some rem oil, and then I lubed up the bolt with this because this is a little bit thicker than that rem oil, and uh, I got her all. Uh, cleaned up this is what she looks like all together um, I'm pretty sure she's got the shorter barrel out of the two if there was two available but she's got a shorter barrel on her and uh, it's a Bushnell scope I'm pretty sure it's the same thing if not a exactly the same thing as a Bushnell banner but uh, you know it came with the gun so they're not going to write Bushnell banner on it they're just going to write Bushnell because it was a model they made specifically for the Shermington that's a scope that came with it uh, like I said before, it's Allen's sling. I don't think that came with it. I could be wrong on that one. But uh, she is unloaded. Let me take the magazine out for you. I'm going to open up the bolt. You can see she's unloaded. Nothing there. But uh, yeah, synthetic olive green stock. This was, uh, I believe, manufactured in 07. Um, now you can get them stainless steel with a camo uh, stock. I was really hoping that when the guy first told me about it that it was the camo one. But it was the olive green one. So, you know, and this thing doesn't even look like it's been shot very much. I doubt my camera's going to pick it up. But if you look down the barrel, yeah, that's not going to happen. If you look down the barrel, she's as clean, in, clean as a whistle. There's no scratches. There's no pitting. There's nothing there. Uh just very very nice you know and uh 
yeah so um gonna take this baby out a little bit later and shoot her uh she works pretty good there safety's right here that's on safe that's fire and uh yep bolt release is over here it's a lever you pull up but all in all i'd say she was a pretty decent trade uh now she's all cleaned up ready to rock and roll so uh yeah as soon as my wife gets home as soon as my wife gets home i'll be uh heading out to the old guy's property he has a nice little bench rest in the middle of his field and uh we'll be seeing how good we can shoot this shit so yeah guys uh i'll turn you on when i'm shooting i guess